Hey, it's Gina. I'm coming on to show you how to do this quick and easy stamping gradient mani. Let's get right to it. Uh, I'll be using my standard Winstonia stamper, cheeky scraper card, 100% um, acetone as usual. I have been using 100% acetone on my stampers for almost four years now with zero negative effects. So um, those of you who say they can't believe I suggested the use of 100% acetone on stampers, I suggest that because that's what works for me. Thanks. So uh, my cotton claw, um, sesh beat for top coat, and the polishes I use to get this gradient, this julep, really pretty color, and Jessica, uh, ultraviolet, Maybelline uh, Color Show Bleached Neon Ultraviolet for the purple. And uh, I painted the whole note, the whole, <laughs> the whole knoll, the whole nail purple, and then I put the purple and the blue on this piece of sponge. I don't know where this came from. It's out of packaging for something. I just, uh, you know, you can use any kind of sponge for, for sponging. <laughs> So I put it on there and kind of overlapped it a little and then just did the gradient, you know, like that. So I didn't have to do the whole nail, you know, I just had to do where I wanted the gradient, which um, I think turned out pretty cute. The plate I'll be using is um, Cheek, oh, I'm sorry, CC and Sissy Plate 5. Uh, so this would be from their set one, which is the white set. Um, and it's this image right here. It kind of looked like bubbles to me. I like it. Um, and then I'm going to be using, um, if you can see on there, I added these little pearls. They're so cute. So cute. In the middle of, you know, one of the dots. I just picked a dot and put one on there. Um, yeah. So, and I got this from Born Pretty Store. It's, uh, you know, a little wheel of all different colors. Cutie little pearls. They're teensy. I don't know what size they are, but so cute. Um, so yeah, let me just show you how I did it. I'm using um, also this pastel blue number six from MDU for my stamping polish. Just put a little polish on there. Give it a scrape. Pick it up. It looks real nice. And I was trying to get that blue dot somewhere towards the middle, the biggest blue dot and then I'm just pushing it on there. I think I just did that off camera. My apologies. Oh, you see that? Not enough spacings there. So let me see if I can use the rest of this from up here and fake it. Um, it's a little messy. I think I'm going to do it over. Do over! Let me get my cotton. Actually, I think you can pull this off with tape. I've seen that done. Let me try that. Um, nail stamp for fun it off with tape. So let me see if I can get that to work for me as soon as I find my tape. So let's see. Stick the tape on there. Oh, it works like a dream. That's better than um, damaging your your top coat. I tell you, that lady, she is a smart one see if I can get it all off you know start with a clean nail again oh my goodness that is so cool and we are almost pristine I'm gonna give it a clean with some alcohol which I already have right here just to get any tape residue off and we'll try that again these nails they're getting long now they're they're almost too long for the images now which is uh, a first for me, honestly. So that's kind of exciting, but a little sad at the same time. Because I am, you know, the, you can double stamp it like I just showed, but this girl is not uh, practiced at that. So let's try to get it a little better this time. Give it a scrape. Picks up nice. Now I need to really try to get the whole image on there. Ooh, just barely enough. Just barely enough. That did it though. I hope that was on film. I, I, I don't know. 
I wasn't looking, but I was trying to get it on film. So, yeah, let's do the next one. And we'll, let me turn it the other way. Line it up, can you see? Yes, and I'm just gonna squish it in. Lovely. Just almost too long for the image. Using the old tape trick to clean this stuff up, which I love. Nice. And that's working so well. Let me see if I can use the center part of the tape here. Waste not, want not. I waste a lot. All right, I think I'm gonna get the rest of this stuff with some acetone, which I have right here. Clean that up real quick. It's really hot, guys, so if you can hear my fan, I apologize. I, I actually have two fans. I have a desktop fan blowing directly at me, and then I have another fan on the other side of the room. Um, you know, I'm in Florida. And it is hotter than the devil's butt crack. So, um, my last electric bill, I live in a tiny apartment, you know, like 1,100 square feet. It's really little. And um, my last electric bill was $175. What? That is too high. And I'm on the bottom floor, so it really shouldn't be that high. Anyway, let's get on with the doodads. I'm gonna pick a place on my nail to put the doodads. Oops, a rogue doodad jumped. Okay, so these pearls are super cute. They're teensy though, but I'm liking them a lot. All right, so I wanna put one in the middle of this one. So I just throw some top coat on there, use the brush, and just kinda push it where I want it. Close counts, I'm gonna leave that alone. And then well, I want one on this one. So I'll pick that up. And then I need to push it where I want it. Now I'll let that dry for just a second. And then I will top coat them both. I'm using Sush Beat as my top coat. It is my all time favorite. I always put a blob right on top of the um, pearl or, you know, whatever doodad I'm adding because I, I like it just completely coated. Um, things that stand up from my nails really get on my nerves, so um, I'm not sure how long this mani will last. Uh, but it does look super cute. Um, but yeah, I, if, the, if these start scratching on stuff, then game over. They, the mani has to come off. But I do like them, you know, at least for a short while. That's really cute. So... Let me back out and I'll show you the finished product. Okay, so here's the finished Manny. I hope you like it. Thanks for stopping in. Until next time, bye.